Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Season 1 Let's Play series. You have joined Episode 36. Between this episode and the last one, I managed to get these windmills crafted, and we have got them strung up as high voltage systems. I was also able to get the water mill system, or these uh, water wheel systems, hooked up to the high voltage system. Uh, wiring as well and we're running that into this high uh, voltage capacitor uh, which powers the uh, immersive engineering base and I've been busy on the inside as well I've rewired a lot of the uh, machines in here uh, these presses for instance uh, I needed to get those on the high voltage system uh, when I had them on the lower voltage systems, uh, the lights were actually flickering. Uh, I thought, uh, hopefully, I'll be able to demonstrate uh, my idea here. Uh, basically, when we want to request things, uh, like, let me get some of these plates out of here real quick. Uh, so let's pretend that we need a few iron plates. And let's pretend that we want some kind of wire. Now, hopefully what we'll see uh, here in just a moment or two is the materials coming up out of the ground. There they are. Those are uh, elevating conveyor belts that just bring stuff straight up. And you can see... Uh, the entire process there is automated. I think it's pretty neat. I, I kind of like it. And I hope that's, uh, you know, as much fun for you guys to see as it is for me. Uh, I've decided that I'm not really going to try to automate uh, the engineer's workbench any further than it already is. Uh, I think, uh, really, if I want to use it, if I need to make some bullets, uh, I'll probably know far enough in advance that uh, I'm not going to need to set this up for any kind of auto crafting. Uh, so I think we're going to be okay with how that is. Now what I do want to work on today... Oh, uh, let me show you guys the crusher as well. Uh, I did figure out how this works. And let me see if I can grab uh, maybe just a few iron ingots. If I just want to send a few items up, uh, I've been using just the hopper here. Uh, I think that's a pretty good way for just getting a few items up there. You can see it going along this covered conveyor system. Uh, the coverings help actually uh, uh, prevent my ring of magnetization from getting them uh, sucked back up into my inventory. Uh, or you can just come up here, uh, like since I can fly, I can just fly right up here. You can throw in an entire stack at once uh, if you want to. So I thought that was pretty neat. I'm glad I figured out how that worked. And, and I've actually been crushing up quite a bit of stuff. Uh, some of this coke dust, I think, is going to come in handy, too. Uh, so I've been kind of throwing this stuff in there. But what I'd really like to work on today... is the excavator and that is going to be pretty heavy to get into so I think though I don't really want to set it up over in our immersive engineering base area I think for that what I'm going to want to do is let's see do I have my charge porter I do uh, let's head to our mining outpost and I'm going to set up some power outside uh, to basically power our excavator and I'm gonna come back when I've got the power set up so I'll be back in just a moment welcome back everyone I've set up a little bit of a power system here uh, this one is continually running basically because I've got some lights hooked up and I think I'm just going to be okay with that for a little while. Uh, 
I, I think that'll be just fine. But uh, basically, to get started with the excavator, we're going to want this core sample drill. And I believe we have the stuff in here to craft it. But I didn't actually auto craft that. And I'm not entirely sure how this works, but uh, it's showing me chunk boundaries. That's, that's what those are, or at least these are the boundaries. Like, so basically where we are, we can test drill right here, it looks like. And I'm going to need to power it somehow. So I'm wondering if it'll just take the low voltage. I'll need to give it some kind of connector, it looks like. Let's see if it'll just take the high voltage. Well, it does. I don't really know how long this will take. Let's read the book here. Okay. So maybe we just need to do that with an open hand. Let's try giving it a redstone signal. Oh, I've got one somehow. Looks like there's bauxite in here. Must have gotten it without realizing it. So let's move this over to say here and try connecting it again I see it this time. No minerals, of course, and that's just because that's where I wanted to put it, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. What about over here? After this, I may need to run a relay. Fun, fun stuff. But basically, we use this core sample drill, and we're going to find out what kind of minerals are available for the excavator to drill. No mineral. So I am going to drill around for a little bit and see if we can find a good spot for this excavator, and then I'll be back. Well, everybody, I have drilled around for a little while and it looks like the only place close by 
that I'm going to be able to set this up that will yield results is right here. So I wanted to go ahead and let's try to get this built. So we'll need, say, this guy here. That's one of the radiator blocks. Then we need a bunch of that stuff. One, two, three, it looks like. Or just two. It's just two. I think that looks like one of these blocks here. Another piece of this stuff. Is it all of the steel scaffold? Is that right? I think so. So the next layer uses three of those. So the redstone block goes here. And then it looked like three of those there. And three here. And then fill in the rest. Oh, looks like we need one of these there. And then we fill in the rest with the steel sheet metal. And then for number three. Three, there's three layers to this. I think I missed one. Yeah, totally missed one. So that is supposed to go there. This goes here. there. Those go there, right? Or those radiator blocks go right there. So I'm thinking that that part is done, and then we need to build the wheel. So we might actually need to clear some of this out. Okay, so the wheel... Wheel, I think, is going to be easy enough to build. Uh, 
Yeah, see, we start two layers below where the excavator is. So there's the steel scaffolding. Let's look at that book one more time. This guy it looks like right because we're gonna have those guys one him. and then another one goes there did we do that right Looks like it. And then we have these guys, right? Like there was something maybe, yeah, in the center. It's one of these. And then it's five more. And three. And then I think it was just this, right? So hopefully if I hit this with a hammer somewhere, it, it'll turn into something cool. I will be back in just a minute so I can figure out what I did not quite right. Okay, everybody, I'm back. <clears throat> and I'm thinking what I might need to do is break one of these blocks to get to the wheel. And I'm thinking that maybe we need to turn this into the wheel first. Yeah, there we go. And then if I put these on there, now maybe if I hit this with a hammer somewhere... There it goes. Now we've got an excavator. And this is going to be nuts. It looks like I've got some kind of an output there. Do 
energy input for the engine is on its side. The back features a redstone control panel and the item output. So for the output, I'm thinking, you know, probably some kind of a crate. Uh, let's just craft a small one for now. Let's see if we can't figure out where the power goes into this thing. It's it on the side. So over here somewhere. Okay. Well, let's break some of these. I'm thinking we're going to need to run power over here. That looks like that looks like where the power goes in over here. I don't suppose I can just link. No, we're going to need. Do I have any connectors? Where did they go? Probably put it back in the grid. So let's grab a bite real quick before I start dying of hunger. I could have sworn there was one on that drill. Huh. Well, let's see if I put it back in the grid, maybe. Just go there. Is, is this all we need to do? Oh, look at that. It's getting some power. I don't think it's getting quite enough, though. So how much is this? 700. I think we're going to need quite a few more of these. Because it's trying, but uh, we really just need to supply it with a constant... I think it was like 4,000 something a tick. Is that right? 4,096. And we're giving it roughly 1,400. So I think we would need... Twelve, a total of twelve of those. So we would need like eight more of these, basically. And that is going to be a lot. So what we might need to do to get this thing working right uh, is we're probably going to need to make a lot more power. <laughs> I mean, that much is obvious, but I'm, I'm thinking uh, we're really going to need to step up our power production uh, one way or the other. And I have some ideas for that. But I think in order to get the kind of power we need for this thing to run, we're probably going to need to go to the end. So I'm thinking that is what we're going to try to do before we can really get this guy to run. Uh, let's see if that crate is ready. There we go. We'll just stick that there for now. If anything does manage to come out. And I guess we can see. You know, let's just see how many of these oil generators we can really get. Because remember, you know, all of this is being powered from our... Uh, canola system back at our base and I don't think we're producing near enough canola to do 4,000 a tick that's why we made our base or that's why we made our extreme reactor hmm 
Well, I think what we're going to do, let's go ahead and turn this off for now. We'll, uh, we'll just cut the uh, power to that. So these guys can run out what they have. And if anything does manage to turn up, we'll, we'll get it here in this chest. But I think what I'd like to do is let's head back to... <coughs> mm, excuse me. Let's head back to our immersive engineering building. Because before we wrap up the episode today, there were a few more bullets I wanted to try to look at. I know it's over here somewhere. There, here she comes. That happens when I've been out of town sometimes. Takes a minute for it to catch up with you. What I wanted to look at was it, I think it may have been down here. And the revolver cartridges. There we go. I think it was these homing cartridges I wanted to take a look at. We need a specialized projectile blueprint. Let's see what kind of blueprints we have laying around. Those are common projectile. So let's head down to the crafting room. <coughs> and see what we need to do to get a specialized blueprint. We should be able to make that. Let me get a pattern here in there. So let's try that again. There we go. I don't think we'll be able to get to the bullets that I wanted to get to today. Uh, so I think we're going to have to wrap the episode up here. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying the series. If you're liking these episodes, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you want to be notified of videos I put out in the future, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Feel free to leave some comments down below. If there's anything you feel like I'm missing, then feel free to let me know. Thanks for stopping by today, guys, and take care.